SK Guitars was uh, actually we started out just being a, a service shop. Uh, I guess that was my big vision as I just wanted to work on guitars. I'm, I'm super passionate about them. They mean a lot to me. And my real passion is for the vintage ones. Um, Japanese, primarily 70s, early 80s. Uh, I had a lot when I was younger playing uh, as I was coming up in music. And now a lot of people are finding out what great guitars they are and the value that they have and the attention to detail and the craftsmanship that went into them. Uh, this is a great example. This is a 1981 Greco. Uh, they called this particular model the Super Real. Uh, just a gorgeous Les Paul. This would be what we refer to as a plain top, but you can see the beautiful marbling in it. These had a marble cap. Solid mahogany bodies, solid mahogany set necks. Uh, the sound is just unreal. These aren't unlike acoustics. When you get old acoustics, 40, 50 year old acoustics, there's just some magic to them. The wood sounds better as it ages. No different on solid body guitars. Same kind of principle. As the wood ages, it takes on different resonance capabilities. And, uh, this thing plays unbelievable. So if you kind of know what you're looking for, there's a lot of great values out there in getting these beautiful handcrafted guitars without breaking the bank. Uh, I have several in here right now. And that was one of the things that kind of evolved from doing service work is the more I got around some of these guitars and started talking to people, there's a real love and a fondness for some of these uh, brands that don't have the mass appeal as some of the big American companies do, but yet the instruments are just amazing. So if you'd like to see some, stop by sometime. Be happy to show you.